Your teacher today is Dr. Bosa Science. Dr. Bosa is a teacher at the Science Foundation College, the best school that teaches sciences. Today we are going to study Physical Geography Chapter 2, Foraging in East Africa. Lesson 1 of 2. Foraging is the fracturing, breaking, rupturing, cracking of rocks due to strain and stress, which subsequently leads to the dislocation and displacement of rock strata. Foraging is caused by convectivity and radioactivity within the mantle, which generates heat that melts mantle rocks, creating convection currents, which exert force on Earth's crust. Foraging is responsible for formation of wide ranges of futures in East Africa, which include Rift Valley, Baroque Mountains, Grabenes, Tilt Brooks, Escarpments, and Forot Guided Valleys. The Rift Valley. A Rift Valley is an elongated trough bordered or surrounded by two or more inward facing 40 scarps. The Rift Valley in East Africa is in two arms that is, the eastern arm and the western arm as shown in the map below. Theories explaining the formation of Rift Valley. The formation of the Rift Valley has been explained by three theories. The tension force theory by Grigori, the compression force theory by Wayland, and the vertical displacement theory by Dixon. The tension theory by J. W. Grigori. It proposes that the radioactive and convective currents produced tension forces within the earth crust. Tension forces acted in the opposite direction. Normal faults were produced, displacing log strata. Side blocks were separated from the middle block, which later sank under its own weight, forming a rift valley with gentle slopes. Erosion and mass wasting modified the slopes. This fuel is more applicable to the eastern Kenya rift valley or Grigori Rift Valley, as illustrated below. Compression Force Theory by E.J. Wayland. It proposes that Strain developed in East Africa crust as compressional forces pushed in the same direction. Reversed faults were produced. The side blocks were forced to override hanging above the central block. The central block thus formed a lift valley with steep or sharp 
edges. The sharp edges were later modified by erosion and mass wasting. The fury is more relevant to the western arm of the East African Rift Valley, especially the Albite Rift Valley, as illustrated below. Differential uplift field by Dixon. It proposes that there was a period of general uplift of part of the East African crust. It led to the formation of several parallel fault lines. The blocks on either side of the central block rose faster as the middle block lagged behind in stages. At each stage, a mass or block formed a terrace. The gaps in the middle of the terraces formed a rift valley, as illustrated in the diagram below. Relative sinking or subsidence field. It proposes that there was a period of general subsidence of part of the East African crust. Multiple parallel faults were formed within the earth crust due to radioactivity and geochemical reactions within the mantle. The heat melted down the anterior rocks and they began to move in the form of convective currents upwards towards the crystal plates. When the rocks cooled, they became heavy and sank, dragging the coastal blocks downwards with them. The central blocks sank more than those on the extreme ends to form a steep or terrestrial rift valley as illustrated below. of Rift Valley. It is a habitat for the animal. It attracts tourists. There are presence of minerals and petroleum products. Rift Valley lakes provide the fish and the water. Rift Valley lakes are used for transport. Rift valleys are used for academic purpose. Rift valley lakes and mountains modify climate. 